Friday, uh, we are watching the snow train, uh, one after another here, 24 hours apart. We've got Friday nights first, tomorrow night, and then Sunday night. So each about 24 hours apart, a pretty active few days here. Not big storms, but something that'll add up here over the course of the few days. The jet stream is going to be roaring overhead, 30,000 feet up at up to 100 miles per hour at times. So the jet stream rides the edges of the air masses and with that cold air departing, that puts us in the line of fire again, the storm track. Uh, these are gonna be clipper systems. So again, no big snowfalls. First one arrives this evening, another one tomorrow evening, and then the next one Sunday night each producing an inch or two of snow so that uh, adding up to anywhere from three to eight inches of fresh snow for many parts of central and northeastern Minnesota. And this is your friendly regular reminder of why weather apps aren't that great to look at because they are very undetailed oriented. So a lot of people are asking why there weren't snow chances uh, in the forecast for the weekend. Well, because these snow chances are overnight, so it's going to be missed by an app that only looks at the day. So you need a meteorologist for details and accurate forecast. 24 hour change in temperatures looking pretty impressive anywhere from 10 to 30 degrees warmer than 24 hours ago. Uh, temperatures were still pretty cold here in the eastern part of the state this morning up a few degrees from yesterday. Eight below is the low in the Twin Cities. But look at western Minnesota all above zero here at 7 a.m. this morning going up steadily through the night from a very cold day yesterday. We've got that cold high moving off to the east now across Quebec and then this is the system that's moving in for tonight. The first of three clippers. It'll bring clouds already in the Dakotas and then some snow showers this afternoon already in the western part of the state. Those snow showers probably reaching us by the evening hours. So about six o'clock or so in the Twin Cities is when we should see that. And it's going to be just about a four to six hour event here of some light to moderate snow showers done by probably midnight or shortly thereafter. Even a window of sunshine tomorrow and then the next shot of snow comes in. Uh, this is eight o'clock Saturday evening. And then again, a break, maybe some sunshine Sunday morning. And then the next shot of snow comes in Sunday evening. Now that Sunday evening, Sunday night one could linger into the morning commute. So we might have to watch that for early Monday. But again, the three day total of snow looks impressive, almost like a real storm. But separately is how these snowfalls will fall. But uh, yeah, you see in purple here, six to eight inches, maybe in parts of northern Minnesota, northwestern Wisconsin. But even the Twin Cities, maybe three to seven inches of fresh snow. The first one tonight, about an inch here. Light blue is two inches or more in a few pockets of northern Minnesota, maybe even western Wisconsin. And then tomorrow night's snowfall, the heavier amounts will be to our southwest. So we're kind of in between both of these with, again, about another inch in the metro Saturday night, but maybe two plus just south and west of the Minnesota River from Mankato down to uh, Albert Lee or so. And then the Sunday night Monday system still has the potential for more snowfall, but uh, models starting to track a little further north and east. So we might be looking at uh, north central Minnesota, northwestern Wisconsin for the best chance of uh, more than three or four inches of snow. So we'll have to watch that through the weekend, see if that shifts back south. Cold air will be spinning in behind it for Tuesday, Wednesday. Could be close to some of our coldest readings we've had this month so far. But then a change in the pattern late next week, next weekend, we're talking about maybe ending January on a milder note. But through Wednesday, temperatures well below normal from basically Minnesota and east on the continent with the heat still going up in Alaska, also Western Canada. But heading into the end of next week, we'll finally see some of that warmth spread east. Looks like warmer than normal conditions for at least a couple days by the end of next week into next weekend. So get ready for that. In fact, the European model uh, pushing temperatures up to maybe near or above freezing by next Thursday. So less than a week away, but it is going to be pretty cold before that Tuesday, Wednesday, again, some cold temperatures, very possible that we'll see morning lows in the Metro again in the teens below zero for what would be our sixth or seventh time this month and this season. So near 20 today, I think we'll get very close by the evening hours. Temperatures will just keep steadily going up. We've got those overnight chances of snow again tonight, tomorrow night, Sunday night, and colder too as we head into next week. So Tuesday, maybe not even above zero. It's going to be bitterly cold, more sunshine, and then Wednesday, a rapid rebound from what will be a very cold morning to uh, low teens by the afternoon. But again, 20s and 30s are in sight by the end of next week. Hey everyone, meteorologist Sven Sungard here. Please be sure to like this video, also subscribe to my YouTube channel, and 
share this with others.